Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you if this game's through time and bandwidth. Today's game is Persona 3 Reload. Return to the Dark Hour and accept everybody's gonna die someday. It's time for that Persona 3 remake, but does it do enough? Let's find out. Persona 3 Reload is a remake of the original Persona 3 and only Persona 3, as it currently doesn't have the answer from Fez or any of the female main character stuff from P3P. I have already reviewed Persona 3 Portable in detail, so I'll be brief here around the story and mechanics of Reload, instead focusing on the big changes. Persona 3 was the game that introduced the social link system that would continue Persona 4 and 5, where the core gameplay is split between time management in your daily life, where you'll raise personal stats and make friends, and dungeon diving at night, where those social links pop your personas, which you can fuse to make stronger ones to fight the challenges of a seemingly endless randomly generated dungeon called Tartarus. For Reload, there's a whole laundry list of changes and improvements to modernize the game. The excellent turn-based weakness-focused combat is snappier and faster with new abilities, like Baton Pass from 5. Shuffle Time, the after battle rewards, also has been improved with larger arcanas providing big buffs, and the the Dungeon Tartarus itself has a lot more going on, such as boss run, dungeon doors for extra rewards, big golden hands to chase down, and more. Another big change is the Thermergy system, basically replacing Persona duels from 3 and Fez, but giving it to the whole party. Each member has a charging meter that rises based on their role, for example, Yukari's rises when she heals, and when full allows that user to do a super move. You can also empower both those moves and character passives by hanging out with your party members in the evenings, doing stuff like cooking, tending plants, or watching movies together. Daily life hasn't changed much, as the social links are identical, and the overall structure is the same as original Persona 3, though there are some new activities and part-time jobs and other small additions. The last big change, of course, is the game's visuals. With the original game's more muted, somber colors have been brightened up and given a kind of underwater aesthetic. It's very pretty, though I do think the older game's emphasis on tiredness and those muted colors worked better with themes of depression. And honestly, that is Persona 3 Reload. It's basically Persona 3 with Persona 5 Royal all up in its business, but still maintaining what made the original Persona 3 so memorable. So what do I like about Persona 3 Reload? Well, the quality of life improvements are a welcome addition here, the gameplay and visuals up to Persona 5's levels, and streamlining the already excellent turn-based combat. Additionally, the loop is still very addicting, with the hybrid of raising the social links, paired with the Pokemon-esque Persona fusion and dungeon diving really making you say, just one more day, and next thing you know it's 3am. And lastly, this is still one of my favorite video game stories, at least thematically. While it does take to the second half to really kick in, you don't get stories about accepting the inevitability of death and the existential dread that comes with that all that often, and Persona 3 still holds up with how harrowing its later portions can be, particularly one key choice near the end of the game. When it comes to the bad, my main complaint is they could have gone farther with this opportunity to remake portions of the game that didn't age as well. The first being dud social links like Gourmet King and most of Kenji. I'd much rather those have been replaced with the ability to social link party members like they did for the female main character in P3P. This would have really helped bring the social link quality up as a lot of them are definitely lower tier than the future games. Additionally, Tartarus is still a slog, particularly its latter half. While the additions in both aesthetics and a few random events definitely help stave off the monotony, it doesn't help that this is a grind against palette swapped monsters for nearly 300 floors. And lastly, I'll be that fan, omitting the answer, even though it's coming as DLC, the female main character and super hard optional fights from P3P is a bit of a bummer. While I imagine it would be a lot more work, it does mean that this isn't the perfect definitive way to play Persona 3 that the fans have been clamoring for for over a decade. As you know, I rate games on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. And Persona 3 Reload is still a fantastic modern update to a phenomenal game. While it could have ironed out a few more of the original's rough edges and included some previous content, it's still easily recommendable as both an entry point to the franchise, or if you've just played P5 and want to try something similar. This is one of the best stories in gaming, so if you enjoy JRPGs in any capacity, you should be playing Persona 3 Reload. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have you played Persona 3? Have you played any of its various iterations? Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best way to play. But regardless, go out there and make sure you give Persona 3 Reload a look.